You're listening to the audio portion of Workshop Wednesdays. Workshop Wednesdays is a free live discussion about topics affecting accountants, bookkeepers, and business owners. You can join the AVO group in Facebook to participate live Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. Just search for ABBO in Facebook. This podcast is brought to you by SchoolofBookkeeping.com, where you will learn, grow, and build a thriving bookkeeping practice. We have hundreds of lessons with almost every aspect of the industry. Start your free month today at SchoolofBookkeeping.com. So welcome to uh, another, another workshop Wednesday. Another workshop Wednesday where we're, we're kind of wrapping up our, uh, our, our topic of inventory. So we, uh, just to kind of recap, the first, uh, first one was just the simple, I buy stuff, I sell stuff inventory and what you, how you can handle that in QuickBooks. Uh, last week was I buy stuff, I build stuff, I sell different stuff, right? So we have, how, do you, how do you track those types of things in, in QuickBooks? And now today is a very complicated, <laughs> I buy stuff. I need to track where all my stuff is at any given time. Location. And and then I sell that stuff, (laughs) right? So this is where we get into the word advanced. And and QuickBooks loves to throw that word around. uh, (laughs) Everywhere. Everywhere. (laughs) You've got uh, got advanced certification. You've got QuickBooks advanced. (laughs) Uh, And then... Inside of QuickBooks, you have advanced reporting, advanced pricing, advanced inventory. Did I miss any advancements? They have not advanced the payroll or the payments, <laughs> right? but they've advanced everything else. So right. people do get confused over that advanced inventory. They're like, I need inventory, but you might not need advanced inventory, right. which is only found in platinum and diamond. <laughs> right. So the favorite topic and your favorite version <laughs> Quick yes. Enterprise. My favorite version. Now, where it does get complex, and I like partnering up with smart people that do this, is what you can do inside of Platinum. There's a lot of features in there. Mm-hmm. So do you manage uh, all this tracking of stuff and inside of Enterprise? Or uh, do you do you take on clients when you, when you have these gnarly... <laughs> We take, uh, we take clients on and we have a um, partnership with, <laughs> with support people that love this stuff. They love to get the most out of QuickBooks without having to go to, you know, I don't know, what are all the other ones that are bigger and higher and more money um, and get the most out of it for manufacturing, like we talked about last week, and then tracking my location, pick, pack, ship, all those things. Inside. Why are we hearing my voice? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yikes. Well, I, have, I need to man, 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 manage, monitor the, the comments in the Facebook. Okay. But uh, so I had to find it. And then, of course, it started, ah, started, started you, talking. You started talking to yourself. So at least you didn't answer. That's right. Because I really don't have the answer. I like asking good questions. <laughs> right. So, um, of course, because I was doing that, I wasn't really paying attention to what you were saying. <laughs> so oh, you, let's talk you, about that again. You, you, you partner with uh, smart people to, to handle Yes. That. Yes. Because unless you do this stuff all the time, it's, it's, you know, it's tricky. It's a platinum has so many features that a lot of people don't realize. And now we have the diamond because we can't, we've run out of metals and we switched to <laughs> special gems. Um, but the features in the word advanced inventory and they also have advanced pricing and, and we're, we're not getting into that today. Um, the features are huge and not everyone knows how to do it. I mean, I know how to tell them what features are in there and connect them up with the right partner that can support it. Um, but, but in the end, the customer, if they understand what QuickBooks can do enough to get the help and they understand that they have to pay for that consulting because not everyone knows how to do it. It's a special, um, kind of provisor, uh, if they're willing to do those things, they ultimately save money instead of going into a platform that costs, you know, tens of thousands of dollars more, they could take that same budget for just the software and get it all in QuickBooks. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, QuickBooks, uh, 
you know, in your opinion, uh, and I, I think, you know, in, in general, the, the consensus is that QuickBooks Enterprise really fits a, 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 a gap for with, with mid-market, more complex uh, companies that need that, that thing, uh, you know, those things, but can't, don't really have the budget for, you know, the net suites of the world and uh, the and the really gnarly, <laughs> well, uh, and, robust and, programs that, that do handle that side. Of, kind of and side. there's such a gap, kind of like there's a big gap between paying for QBO and enterprise and price point. There, what, what a lot of times people make the mistake, pro advisors and, cons- and uh, the end user, they don't ever budget in the consulting dollars. That's really important to get the juices out of it or you go and spend much more money for another software. You still always have to have the consulting budget. Um, and I think that we do a disservice if we try to you know, do backflips and try to do it for them for free just to get that order. I mean, it just, there's a, there's a lot to it that they will benefit and grow and, and, uh, ben- you know, track the reporting and stuff if they get it set up right in the beginning. Yeah. Uh, nothing and, worse than those messy ones. And, and, the, the, the thing that I, that I keep replaying to myself uh, a lot of times is that, you know, when somebody's really kind of looking at the different options that are out there and, and, and shopping for uh, a software solution that, that handles their, their needs, uh, they often get uh, wrapped around, uh, you know, focused on, on, on something that it doesn't do or, um, you know, that, that they feel is important. And you really don't want to have the great be the enemy of the good, right? So, you know, if QuickBooks handles 80%, you know, of what, what it is that you're looking to do, you know, and if that 20% can be handled with another app or old school or, or, you know, outside of QuickBooks or, or some other workflow process, um, you know, is it worth that, you know, that expenditure to go up to, you know, a larger software with, you know, with, with a huge budget concern of, Hey, does this, does this even work? Um, so let's, uh, let's kind of dive in and just really give a, an overview of the advanced inventory functionality in, in enterprise. We should be seeing it. Did it show up? We see your homepage. Okay. All right. So, um, this is, uh, this is enterprise and we are going to go into items and inventory and talk about advanced inventory settings. So again, I'm, I'm sorry for the, the tiny font. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, uh, these tabs are the, the, the general areas. Uh, so if, uh, if you come across a client that, uh, ha- has any of these needs, uh, any or, doesn't have to be all. Yeah. They, they, they can't pick and choose like which one, I mean, you can, pick and choose which ones to turn on, obviously. But if they, if, if you're doing a, a consultation with a client and, and they need any of these things, uh, they would need at least the platinum edition of enterprise because that's what includes the, the advanced inventory option. So first thing is it uh, multiple inventory locations. So uh, this is where you would have your inventory being in one warehouse or a truck or two yep. warehouses, three warehouses location. Yeah, so if you've got different locations of where your inventory is physically located, whether that be, you know, like you you said, you know, a mobile inventory situation where it's on the truck uh, or or in a different, you know, retail establishment versus the warehouse, the storage facility, whatever, and they need to know that, then multiple inventory locations is, is here, and then you have those choices uh, to set that up. Uh, serial and lot or- numbers. Yeah, and, you know, this isn't is an either or, it's not an and, right? Uh, so serial number uh, would, would be really handy for, uh, you know, electronics or, you know, anything that, that does have a specific number assigned to each individual product, right? Uh, so the, the purpose of having a serial number is, you know, warranty issues, right? So if something comes needs to come back, uh, then you know, by turning on the serial number uh, tracking, you'll be able to know 
who you bought it from and who you sold it to. So that if, uh, you know, they say, well, this is defective. Well, then you got to, you know, you have your return process for yourself between you and your customer. And then you also have a return process for, for you and your vendor. Uh, but the serial number tracking is going to let you know who, who you sold it to and who you bought it from. Uh, so the same thing with lot, but now we're just dealing with different inventory, right? So pharmaceuticals or um, liquid, liquids, right? food, um, food. foods, you know, they'll, they'll, Packaged. we hear, you know, we hear all sorts of stories about, you know, recall. this is recalled. Uh, so lot number is going to help you know, again, who you sold it to. So you can warn them, don't eat the spinach, you know, <laughs> or this spinach, if it's got this lot number in it and we sold it to you uh, or, um, you know. Again, you know what, another, uh, another thing that lot, lot and Ben can help to is locating stuff within the warehouse. That's so true. if you have shelving and bins and so forth, I've seen that be used for that, but mm -hmm. you, you have to. Anyway. Right. Uh, FIFO, uh, this is a cost calculation uh, method. Uh, so stands for first in, first out. Uh, so that means that as you buy things, then the price changes. That's what QuickBooks is going to utilize uh, to when you when it's sold. It's going to use the cost calculation based on the first the first in and the first out. And then you, uh, this is the only version of, of QuickBooks that will allow you to do that. So if they need that uh, fun uh, cost calculation functionality, they will need the, the enterprise platinum. Uh, barcodes. Uh, so this is, uh, this is a unique thing. So um, barcodes are not UPC codes. UPC codes are barcodes, <laughs> <laughs> right? So uh, so sometimes people use those terms uh, interchangeably, you know, like I want to create my own UPC codes. Well, no, you cannot create your own UPC codes. You have to send your product out and get it registered so that it gets assigned a UPC code, which is a barcode, right? But not, uh, not a, you know, a, you can't create a, a UPC code. So once you have product, if you have products that have a UPC code already created, then um, you can use that to brand uh, the items inside of, inside of QuickBooks. Um, so all you're doing here is enabling the option of, of barcodes. And then if you have a barcode scanner that can read the barcodes, uh, you can test it out here in the wizard. Um, you can create your own barcode. So like you can print item labels uh, out, of, out of enterprise and those barcodes, you know, whatever you tell QuickBooks, this is the, this is the number that's unique. So the item name number uh, will be unique because QuickBooks doesn't allow you to have duplicate item name numbers on, on the item list. That will turn that uh, item name number into a barcode and then you can scan it. So that will, that will help for... Um, you know, finding items on transactions. But what does it not do? Because a lot of people think it makes the makes a lot of things automatic. It just sort of saves the step if you're already in an input screen. Yeah. So you know, a barcode in and of itself uh, is is designed to make finding that item a lot easier, right? So uh, if you have a barcode, you just scan it, and what that's doing is just typing that whatever that means, whatever that barcode means, it's typing it in for you. So it finds the item uh, that much, that much quicker. Uh, and that comes in handy with the next, uh, next option, which is the site operations. Uh, so this is um, where you can enable uh, the, the sales order fulfillment worksheet and the purchase order fulfillment worksheet, which are still there, whether you enable them or not. <laughs> uh, it's just which, for the warehouse. Which, uh, which, yeah, which it makes, it makes it a little confusing because you do have a menu option called sales enable fulfillment worksheet uh, without checking this box. Uh, but what this does is it, uh, it, it expands the, uh, the capabilities of the sales enablement, uh, sales, <laughs> sales order fulfillment worksheet uh, so that you can actually utilize a warehouse app um, in uh, on a mobile device. So you can have pickers, which you're going to assign here and, and, and add devices. 
uh, you're going to have uh, people in the warehouse and they don't even have to be, uh, you know, connected to the QuickBooks at all um, because all they're using is their, is their app uh, because you've registered it here inside the advanced inventory settings uh, that will then communicate as long as there is a, uh, an open internet connection between the, uh, the device and, and uh, the warehouse, wherever that happens to be and your enterprise, it will just synchronize that stuff back and forth. Um, but right. that will, that will only uh, Android. Yeah. Only Android. Um, and then there is a Bluetooth uh, barcode scanner that you can pair with, with the Android device. So now you've got basically a, a, a handheld scanner uh, that you can utilize to, to you know, that the warehouse guys can use to receive inventory or um, pick and pack and ship, um, you know, sales orders and turn them into uh, invoices or at least tell, tell QuickBooks that, Hey, it's been shipped. Go Ready. ahead and invoice for it. So, um, and then your favorite, <laughs> Landed cost. This is super cool. <laughs> so, it's really cool uh, feature that they added this year. For what, last is, year. what is landed cost, Carrie, since you were, you were involved with uh, creating this, right? Or, or well, kind of. Feedback. I gave some feedback. So, <laughs> so landed, so we've had customers that will say, you know, um, how come my inventory item doesn't have all my expenses in it? And I was like, what? And they go, all the freight, you know, all the fees that are, um, at, that need to be added to it. And they kept asking me for a way to do that. So this, is, this isn't when you're buying, you know, one product and selling it just like it is and free shipping. This is when you want to incorporate this extra expenses into the item. Um, and so it gives you like a, uh, an account to dump them in and then you select which ones get applied to that particular inventory item in it. And it updates the cost of that inventory in a fancy way that um, you don't have to do a workaround. Right. So it's uh, the ability to spread those fees across the, the individual All the cost, inventory items. Yeah. Individual cost of the item so that you have a little bit more accurate picture of the cost per item. Um, because that, as we talked about originally, when, you know, some, uh, you know, the mis misunderstand, uh, understand, uh, that's where <laughs> mistakenly, there we go. That's the worst. <laughs> when they mistakenly recognize the expense of their purchases all in one fell swoop, uh, you know, this gives a data. Look. Yeah. yeah. This is a, a much more accurate depiction of the individual cost of that item so that when you sell it, you know the gross profit is is inclusive of those fees. Yeah. And one last thing I want to talk about is uh, cycle counts, because that's not actually in uh, in the advanced inventory section, but it is only a, it, it is a, it is a platinum know. edition. Or I can't remember if it's, a, I don't know if it is or isn't, but, <laughs> but this is something, um, yeah, I think it's only platinum edition because of course. And it's something that you, <laughs> if you're in platinum, this is what you'd want. Of course you have to log in. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so this allows you to do um, off cycle counting uh, or, basically doing your physical inventory without shutting down your, your operations, right? Like, so you can specify, yeah. So you can specify a section. It's like, okay, Bob is going to be counting, um, you know, this, this row of inventory today. If you've got it organized that way, you can uh, set that, uh, find those items, create a cycle count. You can, uh, you have two options. You can send it to Excel or you can send it to the warehouse app. And then Bob can then just go through and count each each of those individual oh, items. You need, you need platinum for that. Yeah, then you would need platinum for that. Well, um, and, and a good example is like if you, I used to work in retail years ago and I was in charge of the shoe department. That's when I really understand inventory plus I love shoes. And <laughs> if you had it organized that all your shoes are in one area you could find in the, in, in the item list, then that's a real good, I used to spot check within that. Like, let's check all the Sperry shoes. I had a way that I could do that. And then, you know, spot check within the department. Um, this would have been super helpful. Right. Uh, so this allows you to, um, you know, you can send it to Excel and then somebody can, you know, put in the actual physical count of, of counting it. And then you can import it back in uh, and then it will import it on that day and uh, or, or use the warehouse app to be able to do that. So, um 
that's kind of the, the high level of uh, the advanced inventory functionality of, you know, I buy stuff and I need to track all of my stuff. Um, there's reports. Um, oh, I didn't, I didn't turn on any of the advanced inventory functionality, but the, the inventory reports will get added. Uh, so when you've, uh, when you turn on the advanced inventory by site, yeah, you'll have uh, a, an inventory valuation by site. So you'll be able to see where things are uh, at, at any given time by that site, which will, uh, it'll add an additional column on every transaction. So you got to assign, you know, where the, where the inventory is. So it's only as valuable as you use it, right? So you got to track all that stuff. Um, and um Let's see. I was, there was something else that I wanted to. I just saw something that, that there's a new report that I just saw that inventory negative um, listing too. Just to point that out, that was that's new mm -hmm. uh, because if you inactivate an item code that has quantity on it, it wreaks havoc in your books. Gotcha. So they've created a report to help us track those down. Customers usually do that, but yeah. road advisors that don't know how to do inventory do too. Oh, and this is this is a nice feature as well. The report that's what I was going to. Oh add. yeah. The aging uh, detail of or in summary of of your item, so uh, you can see how long your that's inventory, really good. Your yeah. inventory is still is is sitting uh, in your shelf. So this is not turn, <laughs> but this is just how old your inventory is, right? So um, so if you've got stuff that's like in this case, this one's over 120 days. $7,000 worth of inventory time to sell it. Yeah. Maybe just have, this is where, you, this is where liquidation sales come from. It's like, oh gosh, I've got this stuff just, I'm burning. <laughs> what if it's food? <laughs> <laughs> right. Maybe it's spoilage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gotta, gotta set it. Gotta nice steaks it. there. Have to throw those out. <laughs> They're not supposed to be brown until you cook them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. but uh but this is a built-in report when you have uh you know when you're using platinum edition with with uh, advanced inventory um so clearly not something you're going to get out of quickbooks online no. <laughs> right and that's why we you call it light inventory light that's right that's light it's like so. when you do yoga with uh, two pound weights it's light <laughs> Light. light exercise. I like it with no weight. So that's even lighter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, that kind of puts a wrap on, on, uh, on inventory in, in QuickBooks. Uh, we hope, uh, hope you felt this was uh, useful. Um, and we're going to take this and then consolidate it into uh, one course inside of uh, school of bookkeeping.com uh, so that, you know, you can review these individual topics will go a little deeper dive into each of these functionalities uh, in that course. Uh, but we wanted to give a high level overview of the three major areas of, of in inventory. I buy stuff, I sell stuff, do nothing to it. I just have, I'm a, I'm a distributor. Uh, I buy stuff, I build stuff, I sell stuff. And then I buy stuff. I need to know exactly where it is at all times. And I've got other people touching my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from my stuff. <laughs> exactly. So we will Put it see back where you found it. Put it back <laughs> where you found it. Right. So we'll see you next time on uh, next week on uh, Workshop Wednesday. And you guys have a great day. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.